Inside every human being, there's an artist waiting to be born. So nurturing the artist in you is very important. I have created a series of videos that will guide you as you embark on your journey toward living the meaningful and productive life of an artist. You don't need an arts degree or any kind of special training to be able to understand, learn and apply the lessons that I share with you in my videos. Neither do you need to be a full-time artist cutting your teeth or making your name in an artistic profession like painting, sculpting, singing, choreographing, composing or, or writing uh, in order to be able to enjoy the benefits and rigors of an artistic vocation. The arts aren't an exclusive club. You don't need membership. As long as you are able to set aside a little time each day to work on your chosen artistic form of expression, no one can stop you from becoming an artist. Now, why do I think that every human being is a born artist? I'm convinced that that's the case because the arts have a major purpose in the life of a human being. The arts are a way of finding meaning, beauty, and the truth in life. It is a way to find out who you are, why you are born, and what you must do in this world. If you do not allow the artist in you to breathe, you suffocate a channel through which great insights can find their way to you. Your desire to create art and your curiosity about the meaning of life are so tightly linked that it's difficult to separate one without realizing the value of the other. What do I mean by that? Well, we come into this world, stay in it for a while, and then we leave. Between our entrances and our exit, we move from experiences to experiences, um, some of them pleasurable, others painful, all the time wondering to ourselves, why it is we are here? What is it we ask ourselves is the meaning of all this? Well, I think this is the case. I think your desire to make art is linked to your curiosity about the meaning of life. Think of art this way, nothing too complicated, just a way of putting down into story form what you have gone through in life. It is like a diary account of yourself, only it is beautiful. Whenever you paint, tell a story, um, choreograph a dance or compose a piece of music, what you're really doing is this. You're using your imagination to turn your thoughts and feelings into works of art. Look at that process closely and you find two things. One, you have created a lasting document of some of the things that you have felt and experienced in life. The second thing you have done by creating art is this. You have created an aesthetically pleasing object that other people can use their imaginations to interact and engage with and learn something for themselves. So you see, it is this double function of art that makes art so valuable to a personal discovery of meaning. Now, you don't have to wait till you've discovered the ultimate truth in order to start working on your masterpiece. You can start now. Act now. Art is about doing things right now. Start by making one small work, followed by another, another, and soon you'll find that you have left a trail of diamonds even as you're searching for the brilliant jewel that you knew was waiting for you in that secret city of love. Think of art in simple terms. It is just about telling a story. If you're painting, you're painting something into story form. If you're sculpting, you're sculpting something into story form. And the same goes for making a dance, a song, or writing a story. It's about telling a story. Now, do not worry about whether or not those stories are messy or neat, coherent or incoherent, ugly or beautiful. They are all stories that have simmered in your imagination, stayed there for a long time, waiting for you to give them form and expression. So give it form and, and, and expression. That is what my series of videos hope to do for you. My series of videos are my way of telling my story. I hope you engage with those videos and find out how you can use them to leapfrog into your own stories. I wish you luck.